YouTube. Um, today I'm here to kind of tell you how to jailbreak with Red Snow, which is the new, or which is not new, but it's a, the 9.4 version. Allows you to jailbreak the 3.1.3 firmware, which I have done. Um, so you can see that I've, I basically just did it, and I haven't really had much of a chance to revert it back to the original how it was before. Um, what happened, or the reason I did this, I was just going to leave it and let wait for the 4.0 firmware to come out, but my iPod wouldn't come out of safe mode, and I just had a I had hard shut down. Eventually I just restored it, and it made me go to 3.1.3, and the I couldn't find the iPod Touch 1G 3.1.2 firmware because some of the links were down. And so I reverted to the 3.0 firmware, and that didn't work out that good. So I finally got a good 3.1.2 firmware, which I put into the Red Snow um, 9.4, which allowed me to jailbreak the 3.1.3. Which, since it's kind of nice just having the most recent firmware without a Apple asking you to update it every or every time you plug it in, you know. But, so that's a good thing. I mean, so most of the info I'm going to be, or you're going to get on how to do this is going to be in the description. I had some trouble with it, so I'm just going to point you to the links, basically, of what I used and how they helped me. And so, what you're probably going to want to do is just go into the firmware, or go into the description, and I'll have this, I'll have a you know a good description of how you're supposed to do it if you have any if you have any problems just comment in the comment section because there's a pretty good chance I'll respond to that since I do not have very many viewers right now so anyone who comments in there is probably going to get um, a mention back unless this um, video goes you know kinda crazy which I don't think will happen you know <laughs> but so you're just going to want to look in the description and that should help you out.